Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate. Today we are making a panino italiano using focaccia bread, prosciutto, uh, some grilled mushrooms and eggplant and fontina cheese. And we are in this fantastic location, guys. Arbor Bridge, Sydney, guys. One of the most beautiful cities in the world. And this is definitely the most amazing harbor in the world. So this is also the most beautiful and amazing panino in the world. So <laughs> I'm in heaven, guys. Stay with me and come with me to heaven. Now, for this panino sandwich, we need 100 grams of prosciutto di Parma or San Daniele. Then we need fontina cheese. This is one of my favorite cheeses, fontina. Then you need to get some um, grilled mushrooms. You can get a nice jar like that. And look how beautiful they are. Normally, Italian brands do uh, very good of this. Extra virgin olive oil and a nice focaccia bread. This is fresh from the bakery. I got it today and it's very nice and soft. Then we also need two slices of uh, grilled eggplant. You can watch uh, my video recipe up here uh, to know how to make grilled eggplant. Now, this is a panino that I used to eat when I was little. When I was a child growing up in Italy, I used to go out every day for summer with my friends and we used to go to the supermarket, Delicatessen, next to my house, four o'clock in the afternoon, and when, that's when the shop opened after the siesta, and I would ask for a panino with prosciutto, fontina, grilled mushrooms and grilled eggplant. And that was amazing. I only used to pay 1,000 lira, which is about less than a dollar. How wonderful is that? It doesn't happen anymore, so you have to make this at home. So make this with me. Let's start cutting the focaccia. So let's make uh, a square. So let's get a, a square focaccia like this. And then we cut it in half. So let's cut the skin off. Then we get nice slices. I would say about two big slices, even three if you're a cheese lover like me. Now we cut the skin. And we just make small pieces like that. Now we place extra virgin olive oil on the focaccia on both of them, generous amount. Press. Now let's start by putting the eggplant on top. Nice big eggplant. I love eggplant. Now we can put slices of prosciutto and you can put as much as you like. This is how beautiful it should be. Now guys, when you go and buy prosciutto from the shop, make sure they actually cut the skin of the prosciutto before they cut it, because the skin is not good for you. And when I go to some places, they don't know how to cut it. Guys, that can make you sick. So not much fat, and it needs to be more of, you know, more of cold meat. Not much fat, like this. And not too thin, because a too thin one, not good. A little bit thick. Now, let's put the mushrooms. Make sure you get rid of the oil. They're not grilled, they're just, um, they're called moss mushrooms. Now it's time for the cheese. Beautiful. Well, I've got some extra left, so I have it. Mmm, 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 mmm. Now we close. Breads, and we can serve it on a nice board. Nice. Now, guys, it's up to you to toast it or not. I like to have it like this because it's fresh. Um, please let me know in a comment below if you, if you live in Sydney, especially, and you have a secret location to tell me where to go and film it. Please let me know so I can go there and film. And let me know what recipe you would like me to uh, film for you. So thank you so much for watching my show. I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. And now from the Arba Bridge, e ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. Well now guys, I'm gonna smash it. Ah! Mmm! Mmm! This is the perfect lunch. Mmm!